at TFNN, educating investors. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. And welcome at the 2 p.m. update with Dave White on TFNN. We're looking at the S&Ps up 43, the Dow up 236, uh, NASDAQ up 148, and the Russell up uh, 16. And, of course, uh, that wouldn't be the uh, total story. Uh, that would be what is happening and what are we getting ready for. CPI numbers in the morning. We've got some earnings. We'll cover that in my uh, show today here, starting at about six minutes. Uh, other things that people are talking about, mostly they're talking about CPI numbers in the morning at 830. And whether they come in hot or not, I don't know how... Uh, how 8% is some kind of uh, gift from God, but everybody kind of talking about, well, if at least it doesn't go up higher. Uh, kind of makes me think of the Shylock with the 30% uh, uh, per week uh, interest rate uh, where you're going to have your legs broke if you don't pay it. Eh, we need to get down to two. So maybe it's not as hot as everybody thinks, but... Uh, I, man, I, it's hard for me to believe that if it just stays at eight, you do compound over the years, don't you? Other things going on, the SMHs are flat today. Five companies are added to the China embargo from the U.S. Uh, most of those are in the uh, sector of making things that make things, like applied materials and others. Uh, so, uh, well, one of the few out there that's flat. And, of course, uh, for the rest of it, uh, we've got a lot of uh, ridiculous uh, prognostications going on from the SALT Conference. And out in uh, Newport Beach, they're pushing single stock futures. Talk about all of that in a minute. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be 